All right, hey everybody. Right now we're going to talk about the professional HHO tuning and control center I purchased from greensource.ca. Basically, if you have an HHO set up and you don't modify the computer, you probably won't notice any difference. Or you're going to notice a difference at first, or the computer is going to eventually adjust to the new system. There are a few main sensors you're going to need to adjust in order to get a correct running HHO system. Basically, each sensor runs off a certain set of voltage. They get relayed into this module and the voltage gets adjusted so that the computer reads a different setting. Now one of the key things to remember is that each sensor has a certain parameter range of voltages. So if you go over or under this parameter, the computer will actually ignore that sensor and go into what's called open loop mode and try to adjust the fuel mixture with the other sensors. This could lead to not having any gains whatsoever. So it is crucial that you know your voltage parameters of each sensor and that you don't go over or under any of these voltage parameters. I'm just going to briefly go over a couple of sensors in this module. First you have the IAT, the intake air temperature sensor. This doesn't get cut, it gets spliced and ran through this module. Then you have the CTS, coolant temperature sensor. This is one of the least important sensors in the setup. Then of course you have the map in and map out. The manifold absolute pressure sensor must be cut and the sensor side ran into the intake and the ECU side ran to the outtake. Sorry, the ECU side of course runs to the ECU. Now, over here we have the list of O2 sensors. Now on a truck like mine I have four O2 sensors two upstream and two downstream. I have to determine whether they're wideband or narrowband sensors and hook all four into the corresponding slot you see here. Basically if one of these sensors is ignored by the computer this setup will make sure that the other sensors don't adjust for the HHO system. Also this is a convenient setup that I can turn the module on and off and run the complete the vehicle completely normal without this chip on. Now over here we have the red wire which will go to the 12 volt power source. We have the two black wires which are the ground and the yellow wire which will be the pulse width modulator for the HHO power output. We're going to go into a bit more detail as the installation proceeds so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.